Hi, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about super affordable winter fragrances, winter fall fragrances that smell amazing, have really great performance, except for one, <laughs> except for one, um, but also will not break the bank. So if you want to see what those are, please keep watching. But before you do, please make sure you like subscribe and comment it really helps out my channel so yeah let's just get right into the video so the first one that i have here is actually so most of these are Zara perfumes let me just get that out the way most of them so the first one i have here is fields at nightfall and this is apparently a dupe for a perfume called this is her I don't remember the name of the designer, but I'll put it somewhere up on the screen what I'm talking about. But this smells very airy and light, but warm and comforting. It kind of smells like there's like a milk note in there. Something lectonic is in here that smells really, really nice. It's not overpowering, which is great. Um, but it's also very just comforting and warm and soft. If I could find the notes, I'll put them somewhere up on um, the screen. But I believe this retails for about $30, $30, which is not bad considering you get, I believe this is a 100 ml bottle. Can I even see? I think it's a 100 ml bottle, but I will link it down below. So if you're interested in trying this out, it's really good, super affordable. I would definitely check it out. And it's like one of the really, really, really great ones from Zara. The next perfume I have here is actually a body mist. And it is from Sol de Janeiro. And it is, this is Brazilian Crush 62. This is pistachio and salted caramel. Now I'm kind of late on this bandwagon here because everyone has been talking about this and for whatever reason it just wasn't my favorite or i wasn't really interested in getting it but however i can see why everyone loves it so much that pistachio and salted caramel smells so good oh my gosh and i feel like it's super affordable this is 26 dollars, and this is what is this? This is the 90 ml version. I got the small one first. When this is done, I'm going to repurchase the big size. You can see how much I've used here quite a bit. I know people talk about this in terms of summer, but I feel like you could wear it summer and winter because it's so gourmand and sweet that I feel like you really could get away with it in either season. So this is definitely one that I'll be wearing this winter and you should check it, check it out <laughs> if you like really gourmand and sweet um, fragrances or you like caramel in fragrances. The next one I have here is really popular and I'm sure you all are no stranger to this perfume. This is Ebony Wood by Zara in collaboration with Joe Malone and this is not new, I'm just very late, <laughs> to be quite honest. It's definitely super woody. It's more on the lighter side, but it does not smell like an inexpensive perfume. It smells like a really niche perfume, which is what I like about this. I like the minimalistic look to it. It just, I feel like, takes it up a notch. For Zara fragrances, I love when it's just simple packaging, um, not too much. This has really great longevity and really great sillage. This smells just like super woody, a little spicy. There's cloves in there. I can definitely, definitely smell the clove, but it just smells so elegant and warm and cozy. I mean, it's winter, so of course, but this is a really well done fragrance from Zara. And I feel like for the price point, to be honest, I feel like you cannot beat the price point for, I believe this is a 90 ml, I think this is like a 90 ml bottle. And it's really great, smells really, really good, and it won't break the bank. So 
if you do like you know slightly woody spicy scents please check it out and it comes in a smaller size as well the next one i have here is another zara most of these are zara um, and again, this is with in collaboration with Jo Malone because I really, really like the Jo Malone and Zara collaboration. I think a lot of their fragrances are really, really good for the price point. And this one is Magnificently Dubai and it is so spicy and sweet, but it's more on like the spicy, I feel like it's nutmeg, spicy nutmeg side. And it just reminds me of like Christmas, cold weather. It's very comforting, very inviting. It's soft. The spice kind of punches you in the face, but like in a really, really good way. It smells like there's some type of synthetic oud in here. Oud is not listed, but it does give me that oud vibe, which I think is why it's called Magnificently Dubai. It definitely reminds me of a Middle Eastern fragrance, but like not as heavy or potent and I think if you feel like Middle Eastern perfumes are way too polarizing for you or too strong I think this is a really good one but I absolutely love it and it smells so good and I can't believe more people don't talk about this if I had to rank it this would be my first and then Ebony would actually be my second but if you're in Zara just give it a sniff um, and see if you like it next one that I have here is it doesn't really need much of an introduction this is Cloud by Ariana Grande, and this is a really sweet, milky, um, warm con candy type of scent. You could wear this in the summertime, in the fall, in the winter. I feel like it's definitely all year round because it's a dupe for Baccarat, which I feel like I don't really... Like, I get what people are saying, but this leans a lot more sweet to me. But not nauseatingly sweet, which is why I like it, because I don't really like overly sweet perfumes because they tend to make me nauseous quite quickly. This one is like just the right amount of sweet and just the right amount of like tonic for me to really, really love it and wear it. If you do like milky type of fragrances, please check this Last out. Last but not least, this is another Zara fragrance. <laughs> and this one is from the men's section and it's the Zaro tobacco collection and this is rich warm addictive i also have the other one what is it dark something exclusive i don't know i'll put the other one i have um there this one i feel like it's a lot more unisex um oh my gosh there's honey in there but it smells so good and i'm not a fan of honey like not even in the slightest to be honest and I love how this smells, the honey and the tobacco go really, really, really well together. And again, it doesn't smell like a perfume that's inexpensive. It smells really expensive to me. I'm going to layer this with Kiali Vanilla and see how this goes. I haven't gotten to wear it yet, so I can't speak to longevity and sillage and all that stuff. But for the price point, it's really, really good. If you want to check this out, very unisex, please do give it a sniff in Zara. That's all the affordable fragrances that I had to show you. Please let me know if you like this video. What are your, you know, the best affordable fragrances that you have in your collection? Please let me know down below. And please make sure to subscribe and like this video. It really helps out my channel. I will also post my social media somewhere on the screen if I haven't posted them already. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.